Welcome back to Rambler Sports Locker. I'm RSL reporter Chloe Morrissey. Chicago fans are reaching for the sky after a historic win for the city's WNBA team. The Chicago Sky have brought home the city's very first WNBA title after defeating the Phoenix Mercury in the championship game of the WNBA Finals. Naperville native Candace Parker capped off the perfect homecoming. In just one season of being back home, she brought the city of Chicago a championship. The Chicago Sky defeated the Phoenix Mercury 80-74 to in Game 4 of the 2021 WNBA Finals to win their first championship Sunday at Wintrust Arena. Ford Parker tied the game 72 points apiece after hitting a three-pointer with 1 minute and 57 seconds on the clock. Center Stephanie Dolson then put the Sky four points ahead in the final minute. Guard Courtney Vandersloot put a cherry on top with the turnaround inside. The Chicago Sky celebrated with the city downtown in a parade and rally Tuesday morning. Party buses made their way down Michigan Avenue from Roosevelt Road, ending with an incredible celebration at Prisker Pavilion. Special guests included Mayor Lori Lightfoot and Chicago's own Chance the Rapper. Congratulations, ladies. Although this season is over, you can keep up with the team online on Twitter and Instagram at Chicago Sky. For Rambler Sports Locker, I'm RSO reporter Victoria Williams. Thanks, Victoria. With preseason polls rolling out, the Loyola women's basketball team has been ranked seventh place in the Missouri Valley Conference for the 2021-2022 season. Here to tell you more is RSL reporter Lucas Kim. A new preseason poll shows the Loyola women's basketball team ranking 7th out of 10 teams in the Missouri Valley Conference for the 2021-2022 season. After making their first postseason appearance in program history last year, the Ramblers are ready to get back into the action and fight in conference play. Voting is determined amongst the Valley's head coaches, sports information directors, and selected media members. For the third year in a row, Missouri State was tabbed first in the league. The Bears are followed by Drake University and University of Northern Iowa, who landed in second place and third place, respectively. Last year, the Loyola women's team finished 12-15 and 15 overall under six-year head coach Kate Ochter. Returning to the team are 11-letter winners and four All-Valley selections, Allison Day, Bree Hampton Bay, Maya Chandler, and Satori Tannen. Tip-off for the women's 2021-2022 season begins at 4 p.m. on Tuesday, November 9th. For Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Lucas Kim. Thanks, Lucas. That isn't all the news for Loyola basketball. The Loyola men's basketball team has been ranked second in the Missouri Valley Conference, just pacing behind Drake. This is the second time in a row that the Ramblers have been ranked second. With more information, here is RSL reporter Gabe Paradis. Head coaches, media, and sport directors across the MVC predicted that the men's basketball team would finish second only behind Drake in the Valley this season. The Ramblers got 8 out of 43 picks for first place, but Drake's 29 votes rose them to the top. This is the first time Drake has been ranked this high in a preseason poll. The Maroon and Gold were also ranked second in the same poll for last year. That season, they made it to the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament and finished ranked 12th in the coach's top 25 poll with a 26-5 overall record. Northern Iowa is ranked just behind Loyola with six first place votes. Two returning starters from last season were also voted into the MVC preseason teams. Graduate student guard Lucas Williamson, who got MVC Defensive Player of the Year for 2021, is on this season's second MVC preseason team, and Rusher junior Braden Norris is on the third preseason team. For Rainbow Sports Locker, I'm Gabe Paredes. Thanks, Gabe. After a two-year hiatus, Formula One returns to the Circuit of the Americas for the 2021 United States Grand Prix taking place this weekend in Austin, Texas. Here is RSL reporter Nick Newmeyer. Formula One returns to Texas for the first time in two years as the Circuit of the Americas is set to host the United States Grand Prix this weekend in Austin, Texas. With the race being canceled last year due to COVID, fans are coming from around the world to be a part of this year's event. It is looking to be one of the most highly attended races in F1 history as an estimated 350,000 fans will be in attendance. Fans will be in for a treat, as it is expected to be a close fight between the top teams of Red Bull Racing and Mercedes. Red Bull driver Max Verstappen will be looking to extend his lead in the Drivers' Championship, as he currently holds a six-point lead over seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton. Red Bull still feels confident with their chances, as according to team principal Christian Horner, we've got some tracks coming up that hopefully suit us, but we know that Austin is Hamilton territory, so we're going to have to be on our A-game. Hamilton has been very successful in Austin, as since the Grand Prix was moved to the Circuit of the Americas in 2012, he's won all but three of the races. 
It's certainly shaping up to be an exciting weekend as qualifying is set to take place on Saturday with the race to follow on Sunday. For the Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Nick Newmeyer. Thanks, Nick. To stay up to date on all things Rambler Sports, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Loyola RSL. From all of us here at Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Chloe Morrissey. And don't forget to turn out the lights.